my street of Capelli, what a better place of my hometown here in Toramare, Bari. Today it's a special, special day because I'm, I'm, I'm proud to say hi to you right here from my own town because today we are going to I'm gonna bring you in a one really special place in the United States one of the most historical pizza place in the USA so guess what guys where I'm going come with me and enjoy this journey with me follow me and let's go What a long trip guys, this has been a, really a journey, more than 24 hours traveling directly from Bari, my hometown. But here we are, Little Italy in uh, New Haven, take a look. We are at uh, Frank Pepe, one of the most intense, best pizza in the United States of America. So I can't wait to show you this guy, they just opened up for me to show you the art, the story, the love for pizza just for you. Guys, invest your time, watch until the end. <laughs> Let's go inside and let me show you the art, the love of this pizzeria. Let's go. What an amazing place. Uh, buongiorno. Ciao, buongiorno. Buongiorno. Vito. Yes. Come stai? Piacere. Fantastic. Piacere. Happy to be here directly from Italy to visit this pizzeria. That's fantastic. It's an honor. What's your name? Francis. Francesco. Oh, Francesco. Francesco, last yeah. name? Rosselli. Italiano. <laughs> fantastic. I'm very happy to be here because uh, I, I've been looking this pizza place online and the, cre the crispy yeah. crunchy crust got my attention. A grand... But the mostly, yeah. what got my attention is the pizza oven. The pizza oven. Big story. So guys, get ready. Sit down. Watch until the end. I want to come and see your... Uh, okay, you're welcome. Your Please secret. Come. Okay, let's go see the whole process together. Let's go. And everything starts from the pizza oven. What's so special of this pizza oven? Well, Francesco? initially it was considered a bread bake oven. All right? And these were fabricated in the turn of the century. It's fed by coal. Feet, we, yes. use, we use coal. We use coal as fuel, bring it to about 900 degrees to ignite coal, and then we start charging the, the fire chamber with coal. you how the magic happens. The magic of the pizza though. The beginning of the magic. Okay. Fantastic. No, no. Okay. Wow. Wow. Outstanding. So this is uh, our our uh, our dough, pizza. it which was made the night before. And they're scaling it and they're rolling it now. So we do fresh yeast or dry yeast? This is a fresh yeast. This so you make the dough yeast, and yeah. then you keep it inside this bucket for 24 hours. We keep hours. it in here, yeah. Well, we, well, well Pio Meno. Pio Meno, 24 Pio hours. hours, okay. So. He doesn't want to say the secret. Don't don't We're here to we show you the careful. secret. We have to be careful. <laughs> I'm going to get all the secret, don't worry about it. Yes. <laughs> so from here, from the bucket, 24 hours rest, then they put and it in the counter, and then they And then they And it. they're cutting it in an artisanal way, rolling it in an artisanal way, I think he was a magical man, I really do. He brought a lot of love to, to, to the product and uh, his idea. He started with bread, and then he, he, had, he, advanced, he advanced with the pizza. 1925. 1925. You mentioned how many years? So in, in two years, 100th anniversary. Big celebration. Everybody here in two years. So after that, they make the balls and then they, sit, they put it in the... Let it rest, depending on the temperature, the ambient temperature, and how the dough performs, 
It might be an hour, it might be two, it might even be three hours before we go ahead and put the it. The weather. In. Depends on the ambient temp, yes. Yeah. So the see what it does, let's say every one second. I'm yeah, going to yeah, explain yeah, yeah. something because yeah. my, my videos are all technical. They need okay. to learn the secret. Well, this see what he did? He does, he brings the dough to temperature to the point of fermentation, then he puts it in the fridge then, yeah. to block it. That's not, the correct way to make the pizza yeah, dough. Not before. Some people, they make mistakes. They make the balls and they yeah. boom, directly in the fridge. Yeah, yeah, no. And they say, oh, but the dough doesn't grow. So you need to bring the dough to the point of fermentation. Right. Let's go, let's see. Okay. I want to see everything. I'm all here, right. all okay. the way from Eton, I'm here. All right. So down there, go. Look how much dough. That's all dough. That's this all is, full. This is almost... Go back there. That's all full. This is almost... Oh, yeah. Is See, look. Well, at least this is a thousand pounds of, of flour. So, plus the water, it's got to be at least 1,500, 1,700 pounds of, of dough. So, Vito. See. Si. Come into the grande frigo here. That's the secret. Look at this. There it is. So, this dough is a little older than that note. That dough that we just saw is fresh. This is from the day before. We still use it. It's fine. They're okay, be... so after the dough got to the point of fermentation, you block it in the fridge. Yes, we do. So you save this in the fridge. This yeah. way it and stops the it. fermentation. Yeah. That's correct. And this is when the dough is ready to use. Ready to use. Fantastic. So, and then you take it out and you leave it rest for 30 minutes. So it depends on the, 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 on the temperature. I like to work with, uh, with a very warm dough, with a very, you know, relaxed yeah, yeah, dough. Yeah. So now it's time to make the pizza. Okay, let's do it. Set so to go. Let's go. Yeah. Here in 1936. 1936. 1936. Oh, man, yeah, yeah. That's a but, lot of years. But my it was God. it was founded in 1925. Your grandfather. My, my grandfather. Yes. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's what. That's the feeling. That the pizza. Pizza is well, a history. Pizza is important. Pizza is not business. I get mad when they do business. When you know some pizza places, they they just treat the pizza for money. For money, right. Pizza is history. The, the message always has to be transmitted is the love for the product. Yes. Absolutely. I agree. But it Can't starts wait. from the beginning, from beginning to making the dough to the final product. And this as is well. uh, like a generation by generation pizza. Gener by, absolutely. How many generations did pizza? The third now? generation. Okay. Third generation. Fantastic. Yeah. My goal today okay. is to discover the best you want the new history haven. pizza chefs, pizza places. Let's taste and let's see your secrets. Okay. Vai. We're gonna make a. We're gonna make a, an original. Original, okay. Original with my grandfather and grandmother started the first pizza that was yeah. on the menu, and then we're gonna make our signature pizza, the clam pizza. You, yeah. We used to have as a first food, we had clams on the half shell, vongole on the half shell, raw clams on the half shell. It was my grandfather's idea to put the clams, the clams on, the, on pizza. the pizza, and it was a huge hit. Wow. Okay. Now it's so, gonna be my huge hit. Let's taste it. Okay, so it's everything starts taking out from the dough, from the box. Well, so soft. What's the very, aggression of this very pizza? Soft. 70? Uh, you, well, not quite, but 65? yes, 68. 68. No rolling pin, no machine, just eggs. No, 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 very, very light. Very, very light. light. And what I prefer is, I like to leave the flour underneath. Yes. This is very important. Actually, that's a secret of mine, actually. Because okay. I like to create the texture with you just the fingertips. Gotcha. Enough. Then I That's fold it, it away from yeah. me. The rest of the rest of the stretching. Semolina. You hold on. This is a this is, this is farina. 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 Semolina. No, not quite. But it's farina. Farina. So there I go. So because it's so light, yeah. the dough is so light, it's going to expand on its own. Right. So clam pizza. Clam. Now why? Why am I doing it this way? Because we take. What is important is that we want to allow the juice to go along with the clam. As okay. we put the clams and place them in the pizza, we don't want to necessarily smudge the pizza with it. We want to treat it with respect because it's an ingredient. That's why we call this decorating, decorating the pizza. And that's Grana Padano I saw in the back, 17 months old. Correct. Insane. So. Grana Padano Extra. Now, olio, io, io preferi, preferisco di fare i giri, così. Giri, like yeah. that. Perfetto. That's it? That's it. it. Okay. Bye. Passo
Whoa, that's a long way to the oven. It's about 14 feet. And now, while the pizza clam is in the oven, we start the original one. I would like to make you the original. Eh? Okay, it's important. I want to taste it's it. A, it's historical importance. Hey, I came from Bari all the way from Italy yesterday because For the I want to taste that one, the oh, original. Very good. All right, absolutely. Again, I I avoid the center. Yes. Okay. Maybe you do the same. How long it takes the pizza to cook? About 10 minutes. 10 minutes. About 10 minutes, yeah. It depends if you have a, a pizza with so many ingredients. And what's the temperature of uh, this beautiful oven? At, at this time, it's 600. 600, okay, yeah. perfect. So this is the plain original pizza that my grandfather started with. This in anchovy. So tomato sauce. We I prefer... see the tomato sauce is just fresh. You don't put anything in the tomato correct, sauce. Correct, correct. I can tell. Correct. So and no sugar, no pre-baked, no, 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 no. It's just simple, simple, That's simple. That's the way to go. Yeah. It's not necessary. Yes, I agree. 100% agree with you. And uh, I prefer to level out the tomatoes. It's a lot of Same tomatoes. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of tomatoes, a lot of weight. I, I, I like to level it out that way. Like a focaccia. Like a focaccia, right. It's still a little, and here we are. Here's the original. It's just going to be the... Grana. The grana. God, I'm super angry right now. And olio? Olio, olio. Uh, it's an honor for me, Francesco. Same way, right there. Same like that. Beautiful. Perfect. Perfect. It's a little hard. No, no, let me over here. So, Try it. I would like to show you how to throw the pizza in the oven. You're going to put your, I'm going to hold your hand oh, and I'm going to have you shift I'll do it. it. It's a little diff difficult in the sense that the, yeah, 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 because it's far away. The no distanza, problem. okay? Oh, yeah, let's do all the way. Let's do all the way. Now. Uh-huh. That's it. It's, it's very loose, yeah, right? it is. Vito. Yes. I want to thank you for coming here. This has been a wonderful opportunity to share my family's tradition with you. From the love of my heart, thank you very much. For me, it is very special yeah. to carry this tradition of my grandfather's restaurant. Okay. Guys, the pizza, the first pizza is ready. Go. Take it out. I gotta be careful this uh, peel, otherwise. Whoa. It's like almost a body style pizza. Body? Yeah. You know body, body, they make a pin, thin crust, thin crust and crunchy pizza. If it's not black on the sides like yeah. this, yeah. they send it back. Ah. In Bari. And here we have, here many people don't like the char. They don't quite understand. The no, new customers don't quite understand. But that's what the flavor is. Right. On the black, actually, the burn. Outstanding. Look at this. Outstanding. Wow. Cook to perfection. So, I see you guys are getting super busy, so yeah. it's better that we move on here. So, Otherwise, Francesco is going to get mad with me. He's going to so, kick me out. So. L let me uh, let right. me let me mention something yes. for you. That this pizza is finished. This is finished. Yeah, clam pizza usually is a little bit lighter baked. This we took our time and we cooked it a little bit more. I like I like it crispy. You, right? Okay, there you go. I love yeah. the crispy. There you go. Yep. But I saw outside you have a Frank Pepe pizza napoletana. This is definitely not napoletana style I pizza know. today. I know. I think his maybe it, in the history. All I think it was inspired. He, inspired. He, inspired by the pizza napoletana. Yes. But, by him, of course. By him, oh, because That's why wanna, he called it. You want right. to say like everything? Is, but yeah. it wasn't like, it's as just you know. It's a different style, but everything is made like Neapolitan style. Yes. Everything is like the dough, Correct. the process. Correct. The process that you make, Correct. that's everything Neapolitan Correct. style. But the style, right. it's different, which I, it's I, different. I think this, it's even really, really good. This yep. is like everyday pizza. Yep. Let me show you the, let me get the uh, other one out. Maybe, maybe they're both better. Okay, the pizza is about to be ready, that one too. This is a little too well done for me, yeah. my, my taste, but no, no, here no, it is. No, it's perfect, my friend, Francesco. And you did a good job. Beautiful. Outstanding. Yeah, you did a good job. Crunchy. God, the smell. The smell, you go back in Italy. The smell is insane. Let's cut it. How do you cut the pizza? Because even the cut, it needs to be... So... I prefer to make manageable size slices. That's how you cut it? That's Small? how I cut it. Yes. 
wow. so that if you have a if you had a little child, they can enjoy a nice small piece. They can manage it better with their hands, like that. God, I can't wait to taste uh, Francesco, my God. It makes everything manageable. Hey, wait, uh, right now, they need to subscribe, like, and share this video. Absolutely. And then, guys, all the, the, all the information is gonna be in the description, but you are in New Haven. We are in New Haven. But you have different locations. We have, oh, well, maybe, I think 14, 15 locations. Everything in New Haven? No, 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 in Connecticut, in New York, now in Florida, Washington, D.C., Bethesda, Maryland. How many locations, mainly? I think it's 14. 14 I have, okay. I've lost the count. Good, <laughs> that's a good problem. Okay, I'll go with this. Please, okay. please, be my guest. Are you? Uh, yep. Yes. Crunchy, lovely. Ready? Okay, aside. All the way from Italy. Is worth it or not? I approve. Really good. I have to say, in your school, really good. It's a nice combination, no? This has became, uh, now, one of my favorite pizza places. Or one of my favorite pizza in, the, in the, my, my opinion. Thank you. Wow. Mm. Can't wait to taste this one. I'm here for this. I love, this is my favorite. As a child, this was always my favorite. Simple. Delicious, absolutely delicious. Here we go. I'm taking this. It's time. That's mine. It's time. Alto livello. Alto livello. Another level. Hold on, let's try the question. Really good. Mm. It's like a focaccia sign. Outstanding flavor, Francesco. I think that's the way they, he perceived it as a pizza Napoletana, but I think at the, at, at the inception point, I think it was more considered who like- who, who cares about pizza Napoletana? Pizza Bar is, is amazing pizza. But I think, it, pizza. I, I think they considered it focaccia as well. Yeah? I, they never called it focaccia, but I think, they, I think that the, uh, the characteristic of it is, well, is focaccia. I think I'm gonna eat this by myself right mm. now because I'm super hungry, Francesco. Thank you so much. Please do. Thank you it's so much. It's a pleasure to have you I'll see you, you every time I come to New York. I'll Please see do. you for sure. All right. Guys, now it's your turn to go ahead and smash the like, share this video, and uh, come visit Frank's this magical, Pepe. This magical pizza place from Frank Pepe. Outstanding. Everything is, uh, all, the, the, all the information are in the description. I'll see you at the next one. I'm going to go eat this. Oh, wait. Up next, the recipe. Up next, full recipe how to make New Heaven style pizza. By Frank Pippen. By Frank Pippen. I'll see you soon. Thank you guys.